let dredging season 2023 commence! I'm not ready for this. This water's cold. <laughs> it is a little bit. Eh, it is what it is. All right. Let's give it out 16 ounces of gold today. Good dredge all through the night. I think it sounds like a great idea. Yep. Okay. Day one. <laughs> Bulldozing through the woods with the mini truck. Got the mini truck, you got a trailer, two dogs. One's down there. The point say hi. One's hopefully behind us somewhere, not under us. Yeah, I just saw him back there. Ow! Yep. Ow. Headed down to camp sasquatch valley yep our sasquatch valley campsite deep in the wilderness driving through the treacherous cleared trail of Get, the yeah, alaska bush yes yeah, wait till we go the other way huh oh yeah they did clear it out a little bit up here this is matt's old uh mines where he's gonna put his house he's gonna live in a she shed yep a she shed yeah shitty. Could go that way where it's nice and cleared, but no. No, we've been, <coughs> been lined out down that way. And drive through all the mud and the muck. Yeah. And the mayhem, like me. <sighs> Don't get stuck. Uh, well, that down tree in front of us is going to have to go bye-bye. Oh, yeah, look at Our first true obstacle that we have to clear. Uh, you just drive through it. Um, how about no? <laughs> Matt hacking away at a tree that doesn't need to be hacked away. It's in the way. You're in the way. I'm going to hack you up. Okay. All right. Go ahead and take this tree down with that little knife. I don't know where you put the chainsaw. I see it right there. Uh, nope. I don't see anything. Do you guys see it? I don't. Nope, definitely not. That blue thing in the back of the blues, mini. Blues now or something? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the chainsaw? We're all looking for Gold Fairy's clues. Because he is so dumb. This is my boomstick! And Matt's leaving me now. Do all this work, clear trail. And he leaves me behind. It's me and the dogs. My name's Matt. I love the mini truck. Mini truck never gets stuck in anything. Mini truck's better than everything in the world. Should have went faster. Yeah, probably. trailer Park lives here. here the what the great spot yeah it's perfect i mean the trailer's level yeah mini truck's not but matt just unhooked he's gonna try driving back here we'll pull this out with the tow strap get this stuff cleared out so i can come around and pull the trailer backwards seems like a lot of work you say everything seems like a lot of work because it is Oh, and hopefully if he can get back through here, we're going to try and cut up that way. Clear path right through there. Watch out! <laughs> uh oh.
Hey, what quit it. The trailer hitch? Well, like, what, what on the truck is hitting it? The, the hitch? Now the frame? Yeah, it's looking worse and worse. Day 14. Matt's got the hitch way down on the ground, stuck. We're trying to get the mini truck around here now. If only those dogs would move. But our plan is to go ahead and get a strap, hook it to the back of the mini truck, the front of the tongue, and drag it through that clearing we just made. So see how this works out. Hey! Close am I? Close enough, you can go ahead and pull forward some. <laughs> I'd back it up again, it's a little muddy here. <laughs> yeah, he makes me nervous, that thing. Come here, dog. Come. I'm pulling, come here. Yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ugh. Well, match muddy mess. Oh, pull up. Jack. Yeah, stay back here with me, buddy. Hey. Stay back here. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Now Matt's all set up. I'm getting way too excited. Uh, we picked the spot because it's the uh, Paleolithic uh, Neanderthal lair cutting right across the river underneath that uh, dye dye woodiest substance up there. But Matt wants to go ahead and get started. He hadn't even set up camp yet. His phone's still going with music. He can't even hear it. He's being kind of dumb right now. You know, usual stuff. 
But for some reason he thinks it's a good idea to build this dam and flood the area a little bit. So I'm assuming it's for when we pull forward with the dowel key. Right, let's get down here. Ugh. Got a bunch of uh, paleo gronthalmite sedim sediment over here. Always an indicator for good gold, says Matt. Hey, loser waves. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for him to see that one. <laughs> What's the plan of the day, Nick? We're out here, well, we're out here in a remote area that you already saw us have to bushwhack down into and re-clear the trail. But I will say if I have an old video from this area where I was like right below this log, I think it was called like hunting Virginia ounce nuggets part one. So we're right there again. We're right up. So, so here so, we are four years later. Four years later. I think I was like, for, <laughs> I think I was 2017. So, yeah. you know, I did a little testing in here. We did pretty good right up in here 2018 maybe. And I've just never been back. So we're out here for that. As of right now, we kind of got, we got the dredges set up, a little bit of a dam going. We're planning to plow this pool right up through here as much as we can get in three days, basically, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, and see what we get. I know I did a little, a little punch hole for like a half day up in there on bedrock and stuff, and I got like two grams in that time with a couple pickers and everything. Dad, I found something. Nick found the elusive Budweiser fish, Bud Light fish, swimming through the creek here. It must be it's spawning time. Um, we got the Dalkey set up. It's a uh, modified box that I did is running pretty well. Uh, this little gold divers pump man is a beast though. This isn't the Dalkey pump that it came with. This is a little closed impeller gold divers, 1556. I'm at like half throttle with this four and a half horsepower motor and I think it has more suction than it did with the Dalkey DP150 pump at like full throttle with a five and a half Honda. So that little setup is good on suction, I'll say that. Um, we'll see how this thing works out through the day. But right now we're just gonna punch here and move up through this section here. Uh, probably trying to hit the nice shallow bedrock. We might dip over into this deeper overburden on the inside turn, but it's significantly loose and deeper material over there and you got nicer hard pack over on the outside bend. So I like outside bends. But we're gonna get suited up here and get to some dredging. because the water's like 40 degrees and I don't like to be cold. So now I'm up here pretending I'm doing stuff while the map looks like a dead body.
breath, huh? What do you see down there? So we got a big rib of white hard bedrock. What, the face of it's running something like this? Is that the one I was on? Yeah. Yeah, it's it kind of angles down like it trough. dropped probably like two feet, two to three feet down onto a softer decomposing bedrock of a different type. I think you got a, it's like a, the white stuff's a metarhyolite and the dark stuff metarhyolite. I, I haven't looked at it enough yet to tell it's either like a really decomposed phyllite or it's like the diabase stuff. It's obsidian. Eh, probably not obsidian. <laughs> uh, we may just have to end up diving one at a time at least for a while here. Yeah, till we, till we get something. Till we get the shallower stuff, cleaning that out. I mean, it's just gonna be difficult with two people in that. Place. You gotta clean it out. Yeah. Still not seeing anything. Ain't no gold in here. Ain't no gold in this creek. Hey, you really nailed it with that little power clean. The uh. The compressor's putting a whole bunch of pressure. That's why I didn't want to spin. Woo! Yeah, it looks good breathing. Why are you trying to blow all the gold away? It ain't blowing shit. God, that's why we never find anything. Where to go, where to go, where to go, that. Get out of here. Uh -huh, I ain't seeing nothing. It's interesting, I'm seeing gold in the other, in the Dalky, but I haven't hit bedrock with Dalky, I don't think. All right, so what's the plan now then? Huh? We're trying to clear side to side. We just need to exp we need to probably dam this up a little more so. Cuz right now we're mudding ourselves out with the hose. Yeah. So if somebody is running the dalky, like if you just want to do shallow work, just like clean off the top stuff. Get it out of the way. There's that there's a really nasty organic layer. Yeah up top there full of roots and it's like a old root mat material yeah you got mushy roots all through here yeah um and that's like, a little bit. do what mudding ourselves out a little bit no yeah. well it doesn't help that the the hose is horseshoeing i know um Yeah, if we build the dam up a little better, it'll be deep. I'm, I'll need a weight vest here eventually. I was are you say dredging that's... it anymore today? Huh? Are you going to dredge anymore today, or are you pretty much? I mean, I figured I would, but I'm perfectly fine not. <laughs> it's up to you. Well, we still have to set up camp, get firewood, build saying, a fire pit. I can keep dredging if you want to start setting up camp and getting firewood and stuff. And get a fire going, that'd be fantastic. Okay. That's fine, I can do that. <laughs> I get to be warm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
bad for a short day. We'll see. I mean, I see huh? there's fine gold all scattered right couple, through there. They're all right up in there. A little doo does up here. Yeah. All yeah. in the box. Yeah. You do one right there. Yep. Go <sighs> and trap it. Yep. First clean out of the season, Matt. Yep. First gold of the year. Looking like a decent spot so far for. <laughs> Does that feel good? All right, we get it all put back together and check back in. Down in here, here. Yes, yeah, a couple little here. pieces in the fourth. Yep, first pan of the year, Matt. Well, first pan from dredging. You said you've had the first pan of the year, I think. Yep. Didn't find nothing. Better quit sucking, Matt. Oh, look, are you losing all that gold up there? Probably. Day. Yeah. Looking crazy. So what what is it right now? It's a little after three. And number four. <clears throat> um. I mean, it's maybe four hours of dredging, tops. Yeah. Ugh. And a bunch of that was punching. Uh, punching but, the hole in. <clears throat> that looked too bad. Uh, what do you think, Gold Fairy? Keep mm -hmm. plowing through where we are. The bedrock's definitely interesting. Matt's first time ever cleaning out the Dalkey. I mean, it's not, but he sure acts like it is. 
He said that's a big rock. It's like long. Oh, is it? I don't like it. Alright, I'll get right on it. See the goal right in there? Yeah. Yeah, she she held some. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that where the piece broke off from? Yeah. What's that supposed to be? Like a Just nugget trap? How, no, how it holds on. See gold stuck in there. It's got to come out now, though. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna be able to get any of it off. We're gonna have to blast it, is it? For cereal. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Interesting. It's a little chunky piece. Yeah. I can't get to it though. I didn't bring my knife down here. Well, it definitely shows you how gold works in a river. You just get stuck in, in a little piece like that. Yeah, a couple pieces in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but what a shot. Yeah, there's gold. What are those? Yeah. There's a piece of gold in here. Just how do you clean this now? <laughs> yeah. I need, like, I need like a brush. Toothbrush. Something. You don't brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your goddamn teeth. Stick. Knife point or something. Yeah. What I'm talking about? There it is. That's mine. Nice little guy. I am the only one who ran the dowkey. Yep, bitch. definitely mine. Look at that. Who picked it up first? <laughs> With a twig. Gold fairy. How the Dowkey do? Not bad for a short day. Very short day for the Dowkey. A couple special flakes. Lots of little powder in there too. So dad used to call you when you're growing up, special flake. Special flake. <laughs> Not bad, about 16 ounces today. Uh -huh, yeah, definitely. Give or take. Yep. Uh, Matt said tomorrow we're going to dredge the root system up here. We're just going to have to flood the valley. Yeah, we're going to go rebuild the dam. Yep. Flood the valley. Just got to flood it about eight foot. No biggie. What ifs? What ifs? But judging by the height of the sun, it looks like it's about beer 30. Uh, happy Appalachians. Appalachians. <laughs> <laughs> These are both dredges, right? Both dredges. Take it. Why do you use that finger? It's so gross. It's a pointer finger. What do you want me to do? Otherwise, <laughs> then I end up doing this, and everybody's like, why are you flicking me off? Because you do it all the time anyway. <laughs> you know what one of the little pieces in here looks like, Nick? No oh boy, here we go. <laughs> it is, it does kind of. It's got a loop in it. Oh, all right. Maybe we can keep Nick on task tomorrow. Not cold. That's freezing, man. The water's cold. 
If you want to wear the chest waders and just plow over burden men tomorrow, that's fine. Hmm. We'll talk. Okay. Campfire talks. Fireside chats. Fireside chats with the right. Captain Rapid and the Gold Jam. Alright, so it's bit. Coulter's magic bit. <gasps> How's that work? It's magic. Still getting gold caught in there. It's because a lot of the bigger rocks in here are magnetic. You see the big rocks spinning? Yeah. Good go. sucking. 